Hello guys and girls. <clears throat> I've had a few people ask me um, just recently how I balance the propellers on my powerboat. Um, this is the propeller off my powerboat that I use at the moment and it's still attached to the uh, the main flexi drive. Um, the reason for that is because <coughs> I'm actually building, um, making some modifications to the boat. There's the engine. you have seen that before. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to balance a three blade propeller. This is a three blade and uh, it's made of what they call beryllium. Now if you're going to do this, please be aware that beryllium has got the possibilities of uh, cancerous dust from it. I don't know how dangerous that is, but, uh, but, but you know, be prepared. If you're going to do it, um, be prepared that uh, there is a little bit of dust involved. Now then, what you do is you get one of these. <clears throat> now, this is a prop balancer. If you check the link below, um, you'll see where, um, where I bought this one from. So you can, you can um, click the link and it will go straight to it if you want to. So what you do is you get... A whole pack of these, they're little tiny spindles that go on here. It's magnetic, as you can see, and each spindle corresponds to whatever propeller you're doing. I've tried it with this kind, and it doesn't work. Um, it's not very good. It's cheap, yeah, it does, but it, it's no good. Anyway, <clears throat> back to what we're doing. This uh, propeller balancer is very good. I'd recommend it. You just put the uh, spindle. The, the appropriate size spindle through the propeller like that, okay, and it's held magnetically in in the in the actual mount. Now I'll just show you something. I've just thought of this. Um, it's not actually magnetically mounted on both ends because if I get a piece of paper, I can actually run that through there. So you see, one end's touching, the other end isn't. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the paper's actually going between the spindle and the propeller okay so that's how close it's got to be just a paper width through now <clears throat> what you do is just spin the propeller oops sorry no. and it just spins like that now this is probably basic stuff but when the, the the blade that is the heaviest will sink to the bottom that's pretty obvious now then the important bit here is if you want to file off part of the propeller right you must do it in this way Do the back, okay? The back of the blade itself, and keep taking off very small amounts with a file until you get the propeller to balance properly. You must do it on the back. If you do it on the front, you're going to lose the scoop of the blade, and it'll totally destroy its efficiency. Now this one's actually been balanced, so I, I can't really show you how to do it, but it's pretty obvious. You just file off this edge here which is the back of the blade. Okay, now if I put that back in there, you'll see what I mean. If I spin that, it'll just keep going and going until it stops. Now as long as it stops in a different place every time, okay, you know it's perfectly balanced. You can spin it as fast as you like, but it just takes longer to slow down. Okay. There, stops in a different place every time. And with a three blade or even a four blade prop, it's best to mark it with a um, a, a, a magic marker or something. Just mark mark the blade so as you can see which one goes to the bottom straight away. And um, when you've done that and it spins both ways, take it over, turn it round, and do the same again the other side. You can see it's bouncing up and down, look, because it's not actually touching the magnet on this side. There's a magnet each side. This magnet it's not touching at all. It's just standing there on one point. Simple. Okay? And it just stops in a different place every time. Now that tells you it's perfectly balanced and you won't have any problems with that. But do remember, if you can do this, beryllium, good metal, very strong propellers, and um, be careful of the dust. Just wear a dust mask if you feel like it. But you won't be scraping that much off because when you buy one of these, they tell you it's actually um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's actually uh, balanced. But they're not. Even the aluminium ones, you get all of those, and they're just not balanced. And then you wonder why your bearings are worn. And then when you take the um, take the blade, the propeller out, you'll find that these bearings here, bearing surfaces, actually in the before it enters the boat on the on the flexi shaft, 
um, is actually wearing away on one side and then you'll find that it's not balanced properly. This one's balanced and you can see there's a little bit of damage on it. If I turn that slowly you can just see a little bit of damage but it's still balanced. All I'm going to do by filing off the damage and straightening it is means I've got to rebalance it again but what, what that's going to do in the water is not really that effective to the boat. So there you go, that's how you balance it. There's a close look at the frame. There's the magnet. And one magnet on the other side. Two little magnets here. And it balances between the two. Now if I put that in there without the blade on there, you can see what I mean. See? It's not touching at all. It just pulls it up and holds it in place. And that even spins on its own. <laughs> not a lot of balance that bit. But there you go, that's how you do it. Uh, just file it, make sure you file off the back of the blade, not the front. It must be the back of the blade because that's the bit that doesn't actually do anything when it's in the water. And bearing in mind these things are spinning at probably 20, 30,000 plus revs per minute. So you want it balanced. Okay, that's the best I can do with that one. And again, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.